Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 2018 in Frankfurt, Germany, and today we're at the Cool IT Systems booth with Patrick. Patrick, thanks for having me once again. Um, let's start at the beginning. Who is Cool IT Systems, and who do you help here in supercomputing land? Sure, you bet. <laughs> uh, so Cool IT is a manufacturer designer of direct liquid cooling solutions for the hardware OEM partners here and our hyperscale uh, community as well. So Patrick, what are you guys showcasing this week at ISC? Sure, we're showcasing quite a bit. Uh, for Cool IT, it's, it's always a modular story. Um, so we start usually at our, at our coal plates. Um, okay. Cool IT sponsors a, a bunch of different coal plates with various different partners. Um, of course, today we're showing the, the Socket P Intel Skylake coal plates. We're also showing a, a new coal plate for, for AMD Epic CPUs, uh, as well as the NVIDIA V100. Um, important part of the story is all of the coal plates that, that we sell and we manufacture have uh, split flow technology inside. It's a cool IT uh, patented technology. Okay. Um, so all of the various coal plates that you see today have this same geometry inside. So okay. it's an extremely high performing coal plate. Yeah. Uh, we use it across all of our all of our product. Okay, right? okay. Well, uh, that's great because a lot of these processors have a lot of power, like 300 watts or more, they right? They do, and it keeps climbing and climbing every year. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, interesting is, is that we're also seeing our customers and users ask for a higher percentage of the energy managed into the coal plate system. So okay. uh, along with the, the general CPU and GPU coal plates, we're also offering coal plates for memory. Um, so the dims are completely cooled, uh, okay. as well as different chipsets, FPGA, that type of thing. So typically 85% or higher now. Okay. of load managed. Well, can we take a look at how this like get deployed at the system level? Sure, you bet. So Patrick, what do we uh, have here? Sure, so what you're looking at, Rich, is the Dell C6420, equipped with Cool IT's direct liquid cooling. So in this configuration, we're cooling the, the two Skylake CPUs. This manages about 65% of the total energy of the server into the liquid loop. Um, and then, of course, uh, the quick disconnects. Uh, oh, yeah, this yeah. System, oh. I'm sorry. Uh, this is a manual mating quick disconnect system. Yeah. And so this pairs with a Cool IT manifold and a CDU to complete the solution. So Patrick, this is a different kind of setup. What are we looking at? Yeah, it's a different configuration. So this is Cool IT's design for the Intel Buchanan Pass server. It's a 2U four-node server, similar to the Dell C6420, but in this configuration, we're cooling both the, the Skylake sockets, as well as the voltage regulators from mm -hmm. the CPU, yeah. and all of the dims are also liquid-cooled. Mm -hmm. So it's a very unique design, where the coal plate stays with the chassis, okay. and allows the dims to be uh, removed individually for, for service. Okay. And this cools 85% uh, or better of all of the server um, load to the energy into the, the liquid path. Okay, and I see you still have fans. Is that because the DRAM makes heat or what? Uh, there's still various fans that, that, are, that are in there, yeah. yeah uh, right. They're typically tuned down so that they're at idle or, or okay. somewhere just above that, yeah. So Patrick, here we have, looks like a lot of plumbing. What's going on that, here? That's right, it is a lot of plumbing. <laughs> so what you're looking at is the Cool IT CHX 750. Okay. So this is a coolant distribution unit or a CDU. Uh, the CDU plays a really important role in all direct liquid cooling solutions. It interfaces between the facility primary water and the secondary fluid that goes out to the IT. Okay. Um, so basically what it is, is a, a heat exchanging and pumping system that distributes the, the treated clean coolant uh, out to the, to the IT. It has redundant pumps, um, filtration systems, and then a plate-to-plate -plate heat exchanger to exchange the, the energy from the, the servers to the facility side. So how many kilowatts can a device like this handle? Good question, a lot. So it, it manages 750 kilowatts or thereabouts. Um, so uh, a lot equivalent, of racks. yeah, a lot of racks. So yeah. the equivalent of about 900 servers can be managed with one of these solutions. This looks to be more like at the rack level of cooling, huh? That's exactly what it is, Rich. Yeah, so yeah. where the CHX 750 manages a row or a cluster of, of racks, yeah. the CHX 80 um, and the CHX 40 manage uh, one rack at a time. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're typically installed at the bottom of the rack. Uh, they connect directly to a manifold, and then they serve the, the IT there. The, um, each one of these systems, 750, 80, and 40, all come with very sophisticated and adaptable control systems. Um, so they're constantly monitoring the pressures, flow, uh, filtration of the system, and relaying that information to the, the building management system. So a one-to-one, -one, one per rack kind of setup? Yeah. That's right, so the CHX80 is capable of about 80 kilowatts, um, or 100 to 120 servers or nodes in one rack. What is this major installation here? <laughs> yeah, so this is the uh, Stoltz Micro DC solution. Okay. Uh, what it is is a fully enclosed data center in a rack. 
Uh, so it's an all-in-one solution essentially. Uh, what you have on the right is the Stoltz Cyber Row. Um, it is a row-based cooler that is installed inside the rack. Uh, the rack has security, environmental uh, monitoring. Okay. So the customer can plug in their, their network, their power, their water in and out. Um, and then they can use the, the Cool IT uh, rack DCLC components for very high density applications. Shut the doors and the system runs on its own. So typically in untraditional uh, data centers or, or edge computing perhaps. Could you maybe put this like in an office environment if you wanted? That's, Just, yeah. that's exactly it. So wow. we see a lot of our, our private segment HPC customers, um, you know, the, the need for them maybe maybe Dune, maybe they didn't have a data center before, and so they take the micro DC and, and they can put it down in any environment and, and use it out of the box essentially. So Patrick, it seems like I'm seeing liquid cooling all over this HPC space. How are you guys doing business-wise? Yeah, we're doing great. I mean, Cool IT's had a, an excellent year since uh, we saw you last at ISC. Um, we've seen tremendous growth in our in our data center business segment, which is which is always excellent. You know, and I think you know in general we're seeing you know broad adoption through the HPC community of direct liquid cooling. Um, and interesting is that it, it used to be mostly in the in the uh, public space, and now it's both public and private segments that are picking up and, uh, and adopting, which is great to see. That, that really is, okay, okay. And I'm really, you know, why are your partners choosing Cool IT? What would you say? Sure, so uh, I think it's a two-part answer. Yeah. There's, there's a technology, so Cool IT has the broadest offering of direct liquid cooled components on the market, yeah. uh, which certainly helps, yeah. uh, but it's also our engagement model. So we put a lot of time into uh, a collaborative and flexible engagement model with our partners that makes sure that they get into the right type of solution. Um, yeah. We have lots of off-the-shelf product, but then we do different bespoke and tailored solutions for our customers as well.